Alright guys, uh, I'm going to do a small fish room tour, let y'all see what I got going on, um, maybe y'all can tell me what y'all think. Uh, those photos up there are from Mo Devlin, uh, one of the best fish photographers I know, shout out to Mo. Uh, Alright, we'll start with my Jags, uh, this is 120. Um, We'll be upgrading to a little, oh, a little DIY sump, DIY denitrator right there. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'll be building a 1,000 gallon out of acrylic with a 260 gallon sump um, early or mid next year, uh, somewhere around there. These guys are getting ready to breed. That's the male right there. Thinks he's hot shit. He's pretty cool though. A little female action. Oh, oh, can't get too close. Y'all know how they are. And then we pan over through the divider here, and then we got Big Rig. Uh, he's my male dovi off a of skip from Real Hard Cichlids. Uh, he's acting shy for some reason. He must not like the camera. Anyways, then we pan down to a little 30 gallon I have here. You can see a little female I got there. Uh, little Amphilophus labiatus there red devil you know whatever and then uh, back from the earlier days when I had a planted tank uh, that's still kicking I have a couple guppies and I think I might have a breeding pair of crib cichlids in there somewhere but oh yeah there's the male or female yeah there they both are right there anyway and then we pan over here got a 40 breeder uh, you know guys I uh, it's been I've been going through some really long hours today so my tanks look like shit I'm sorry whatever y'all get the point though I uh, got some baby jags right there and then somewhere in here I have another male dovi from skip at RHC there you can kind of see him hiding that java moss back there yeah his name is Kong got big rig Kong uh, that female that y'all saw is little lady and then right here I got a Lima shovel nose and then I have another male dovi in here he's a wild caught dovi that female that y'all saw is wild caught as well uh, let's see if we can get him I don't know where he's at got some plants in there too He's not really tearing them up too much, but oh, here, let me throw some food in there. See if I can get his little ass to come out. He's pretty good looking. Yeah, his red, his eyes are really deep red. <coughs> here, let's see here. Any of y'all looking for good cichlid food? Hikari. It's the only way to go. Only way to go. I've been doing this for probably 13, 16 years or so, and this is the best food I, in my opinion, it's the best food. I mean, he smells it. I don't know what it is about my dove eyes today. They're shy for some reason. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, dude. Come out and show everybody what you're looking like. Well, you can kind of see him back there. Y'all get the point. But, uh,. And those wild caught, uh, y'all can probably see his teeth right there. I mean, those wild caught dove eyes, woo! Their teeth are pretty big. And, you know, I have two of Skip's dove eyes, and their teeth are just enormous. But, a <clears throat> uh, little DIY project I got going there building the algae scrubber. Y'all got any, you know, ideas for that? You know, message me, let me know. This is a 115 gallon salt water tank I got. Tore it down. Um, in the process of cleaning it out, I'm um, just really into the guapotes now. So, or guapote, tomato, tomato, whatever. I say guapote. Uh, I think it sounds cooler. I like it. My son draws pictures for in here. I put it over that ugly ass picture in the back. But, uh,. Pretty soon I'm going to walk over how to do one of those. Uh, I think you are you, Joey, already did that. I'll go over how to do um, 
one of these denitrators. They work really, really good. Um, my nitrates in this tank with those fish, I mean, it's a low bio load, but it's still, you know, 5 to 10 ppm, so uh, it's worth it. Uh, my little junk pile over there. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what y'all think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, and I'll do an update on some other cool shit tomorrow. Alright, peace.